up, y'all? What's going on, guys? So here's your boy, Ali Tough. Back on the road with Ali Tough. Man, listen, I'm back. I'm back like I never left, and I'm hungry. I'm eager to get into it. Y'all, I've been out the game with truckings for about almost three months. I thought I was done with the game. I ain't think I want no parts of the game, but Yo, trucking is for me. Trucking is not my life, but trucking is who I am. It plays a big part of who I am. And with that being said, hold on real quick. With that being said, um, I'm back. I have been posting the videos because I haven't been doing nothing where it's really interesting. And um, I've been out of trucking. I've been doing a public, I was doing public transportation. I was driving buses for New Jersey Transit. And um, it wasn't a bad job, but it wasn't for me. And I'm back here in the game of trucking. I'm back with Variant. And um, I'm ready to get shit rolling. I'm ready to hit the, hit the highway, man. Like I even packed as much stuff as I could in, the, in this duffel and in that book bag. So that way when the orientation is over here Wednesday in Shippensburg, I could go ahead and hit the road and go straight to work. Like I don't wanna go home and load my truck up. Um, I buy a TV and microwave. Everything I need, I buy that while I'm out here on the road. Take care of that while I'm out here. That's why I kept a little extra in my savings. You know, ready to go. Like, hit the road, Jack. Like, it ain't nothing else. Um, of course, y'all know the plan for me is to see how fast I can get back on that C.H. C. Robinson. But if, if I can't get back on that, it's, it's perfectly fine. You know, if I can't get back on that C.H. Robinson. But that's what I'm shooting for, most definitely. Shooting for that C.H. Robinson account. Um, I will say this though, um, it's not as coming up here to Shippensburg to do my orientation as opposed to last time when I was in Tunnelville. It's not as fancy. We was treated a little bit more better down in Tunnelville. You know, and I mean treated, I mean as far as the place of living. Like, this is my hotel room that I'm in now. If y'all want to go back and watch and see what my hotel room looked like down in Tunnel Hill, then that was a 10 out of 10. The pool, everything. This one don't have a pool. The pool was here, but the pool ain't working. Um, The room is about a five. I don't know too much. I like it, but I got to do what I got to do for the next three nights. Um, But that, that's that. I'm not going to complain. You know, and I'm not going to name drop and let y'all know where I'm staying at. And I'm like, because then I'll be knocking that company and I'm not going to do that. But without further ado, back to like I was saying, I'm back here in trucking. I'm ready to get back in trucking. Whoever watching this video and drives a variant and have truck V20362, I need my truck. That was mine. I need my truck. But I'm um, looking forward to just seeing how everything works out this time around. You know, especially with me being well more aware of the situation, knowing more about trucking, knowing more about long haul over the road, knowing how this company operates, knowing how this company works. You know what I mean? Knowing what to expect and, you know, getting used to the mountain driving and night driving and getting up early and going to bed late, going to bed early so I could work late. I managed to do all that in my seven months, seven to eight months the last time I was here at Variant. And I'm not fully experienced yet, but I, I'm, I'm very much experienced. So, I am just ready to get back at it and eat it up for real this time. And I'm going to go crazy this time. You know what I mean? I'm going to respect the game, respect the struggle, you know, all that. That's just, that's that's what life is about. And if not, my three months out of trucking, we're going to just give it an even three. My three months out of trucking, I learned to respect the game. I learned to respect where you're at at that time in life and just be patient. Trucking is not an overnight success thing. And I... I, I was in a very good situation when I left Varian. I wasn't in a bad situation. Like, I was in a good situation when I left Varian, but I left Varian to go pursue something I thought I wanted that I didn't. So, y'all see, I'm back. And um, I won't record the orientation because, um, like I told y'all, go back and watch my videos of when I did orientation the first time around. It's a day one video, and then it's a day two and three video to let you know how orientation was with Varian the first time around. Pretty much the same thing. I'm just at a different terminal. 
I'm up here in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. At this term, though, I'm not going to tell them this time around. So go back and watch those videos if you want to know how the orientation process is. But I am back with Variant. I will be trying to post at least two to three videos a week. Um, work with me. Um, so this is the first video of this week, which is Monday. I'm going to try to post another one on Tuesday when I get that truck. Because um, Not Tuesday, on Wednesday when I get my truck. Because um, nine times I can tell I should be assigned a truck on Wednesday. And I'll do a new truck tour because it's not the same truck. <laughs> so why not post that video? Um, and then I'll try to get y'all my first go back. And I, um, that those will be my three videos for this week. I'm going to work on it. And I'm going to be persistent. Uh, consistent. Whatever the damn word is. I know what I'm trying to say. And we're going we gonna to go crazy. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and tell a friend to go tell a friend that I'm back. <laughs> Deuces, y'all.